live NFL trivia every Wednesday night on Twitch at 9 p.m. Eastern. Come show off your football knowledge for a chance to win cash prizes. Check the link in the description to find out more. And now, on with our feature presentation. I want you to imagine this scenario. You have two teams playing against each other in a big rivalry game. As in, one of the biggest rivalry games in all of college football, and one that is somewhat synonymous with the sport. It's a big rivalry that always receives local and national attention, and it's between two schools that despise each other for obvious reasons. It's also a rivalry between two schools in the SEC, so it's a rivalry in arguably the biggest conference in college football, which raises the stakes tremendously. And in case this wasn't already a big game, not only are both of these teams ranked inside the top 10, but both of these teams are undefeated, having lost a combined total of zero games all season. Oh, and it's the last week of the regular season, so they're undefeated with a ton of wins under their belt. If I said that scenario to you, two undefeated rivals in state playing on the final week of the regular season, you would think that this was the biggest game of the season, hands down. Heck, you might even think that on paper, this is one of the biggest college football games of all time. And with that in mind, you would think that this game would be nationally televised for the whole country to see. However, what if I said that this game, even though all of the facts listed are 100% true, was not nationally televised? What if a network decided to only show the game locally, and a large part of the country was screwed out of watching the game in favor of a game that meant significantly less, and had zero impact on the national championship picture? Well, in 1994, that's exactly what happened with this game right here. Because in 1994, despite the stakes being insanely high, the Iron Bowl was not nationally televised. And let's just say that chaos ensued because of it. And this is the story behind the controversy between the Alabama Crimson Tide, ABC, and the national college football viewing audience. Before I talk about the actual incident in question, as well as why ABC decided not to show this game nationally, we need some context to understand the importance of this game, as well as why they decided to show another game instead. It's November 19th, 1994, and we have an absolutely critical matchup down in Birmingham, Alabama at Legion Field. Because on this day, one of the biggest rivalry games in all of college football was taking place, as you have the Auburn Tigers taking on the Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, if both of these teams were somehow winless, this would still be a big game, because the Iron Bowl to determine supremacy in the state is always a big deal. However, this 1994 game was looking like one of the biggest Iron Bowls in the history of the rivalry, because not only were both Alabama and Auburn incredible teams that were firmly atop the college football world, but because both Alabama and Auburn had no blemishes on their record. Despite this being the final game of the regular season, both of these teams were undefeated. Starting with Alabama, they entered this game ranked number 4 in the country, and were 10-0. Alabama spent the entire season ranked fairly high, and not only did they live up to the hype, but their ranking continued to skyrocket as the season went on, thanks to a stellar defense that finished the season allowing barely over 14 points per game, which ranked 9th in all of Division 1A out of 107 teams. All that was missing for Alabama was a signature win against a ranked opponent. And once they got that in the week before the Iron Bowl, by defeating a ranked Mississippi State team on the road, the hunt for the national title was on. As for Auburn, they were not eligible to compete in postseason play, as they were still on probation. However, they were still an amazing team that was ranked from start to finish. This was an Auburn team that hadn't lost a game since the 1992 Iron Bowl two years ago. And even though they weren't perfect like Alabama, as they were coming off of a 23-all tie against Georgia the week before, they entered this game as the number 6 ranked team in the nation, thanks to an offense that averaged over 32 points per game, and finished inside the top 20 in both offense and defense. So you had two teams ranked inside the top 6, making it the first time since 1971 that this was the case for the Iron Bowl. And you had two teams with a combined record of 21-0-1, which comes out to a winning percentage of 98%. If Auburn wins, then seeing as they beat number one ranked Florida on the road and would have beaten number four ranked Alabama on the road, even though they're ineligible for postseason play, they'll get some national champion votes. If Alabama wins, then they become one of the frontrunners to win it all. It's a monumental game, 
and you would think that it would get a monumental treatment. You would think that this would be a nationally televised game for everyone in America to see. But instead, on November 19th, 1994, when ABC was showing a game nationally to the entire country, they decided to show this game instead. Ohio State against Michigan. Now don't get me wrong, Ohio State-Michigan is a big game. It's arguably the biggest rivalry in college football. And don't get me wrong, both Ohio State and Michigan were really good teams. Ohio State entered this game as the number 22 ranked team in the nation with an 8-3 record. And Michigan entered this game as the number 15 ranked team with a 7-3 record. However, when you compare the stakes of this game with the Iron Bowl, it's like night and day. Alabama and Auburn were playing for an undefeated season and a national championship, or at the very least, a share of the national championship. Ohio State and Michigan were playing for bragging rights, but neither school had a shot at the national championship, and neither school even had a shot at winning the Big Ten and playing in the Rose Bowl, as Penn State clinched that spot already. ABC thought that this was a better game to show to the whole country. For the NFL fans out there, imagine if the Chicago Bears and Green Bay Packers were both 5-3 and, and were in the playoff hunt and were playing each other, and that game was nationally televised instead of the battle between the 8-0 Pittsburgh Steelers and the 8-0 Baltimore Ravens. I mean, the Bears-Packers game is good and all, but over two undefeated teams that also hit each other and have a fierce rivalry? Seems like a questionable decision. ABC tried their best to get Auburn, Alabama to be shown to a national audience, but did everything in their power besides the obvious of just picking that game to be shown. Instead, ABC's solution, which was kind of a laughable one, all things considered, was to get in contact with Alabama, the host team, and see if they would move the game to a different date. The date that ABC had in mind? Thanksgiving. Seriously. You can imagine how Alabama reacted to that request by ABC, which was essentially met with Alabama rejecting that immediately. Number one, although this is definitely not the most important reason, you had a sold-out game on your hands on this Saturday. Alabama fans who made Thanksgiving plans would now be furious and would have to either cancel their plans to go to the game or would just not show up, leading to an environment that isn't as great as it could have been. And for Alabama, who was frequently on national television, they didn't really need that exposure at the expense of screwing over their fan base. But number two, and this is by far the most important reason, and is what makes this request all the more absurd, Alabama had clinched a spot in the SEC Championship via winning the SEC West. Yes, Auburn could win the division, but they would be ineligible for the title game, so Alabama clinched a spot at the Georgia Dome already. And more important for Alabama, a team with a ton of exposure already, was the desire to win the conference, and the desire to win the national championship. They wanted the bye week in between the Iron Bowl and the SEC Championship, and having two weeks in between this game and their game against Florida was way better than having one week, because it gives them more time to prepare and rest up. In other words, Alabama was not going to be the slightest bit cooperative in accommodating ABC's request, because they had no real incentive to do so and the cons vastly outweighed the pros. As a side note, if you want to learn more about another time that a school denied ABC's request to move a game in the 90s, click the card in the upper right corner. So at this point, seeing as ABC's absolutely terribly thought out plan that had no shot at getting approved, to the shock of no one, did not get approved, ABC had two options. Make the Alabama-Auburn game a nationally televised game, or don't. And as you can tell, they decided to not make it nationally televised, opting to go with a significantly less important and less relevant game between Ohio State and Michigan. And to say that there was outrage over this would be an understatement. Fans were stunned, disappointed, and angry as to why they couldn't watch this game nationally. Yes, ABC's ratings over the course of the season before this game were up 9%, partly because ABC decided to focus a ton on regional games and catering to specific markets. But many people, and rightfully so, thought that they went way overboard here. And this was especially true because, in actuality, ABC didn't have to choose between the two. They had an incredibly easy way out of this, because Ohio State, Michigan, and Alabama-Auburn weren't even starting at the same time. They were in two completely different windows. The game was taking place at 12 o'clock Eastern, 
and the Iron Bowl was taking place at 3.30 Eastern. So both games could have been nationally televised by ABC without any problem. Plus, if ABC was so desperate to have Alabama-Auburn be nationally televised, to the point where they had no trouble moving the game to a different date, they weren't willing to show the game nationally on its assigned date, despite its obvious importance and superiority compared to other games in that same day? You just couldn't do two national games that week? Seems odd. And things got so bad that ABC had to put out a lengthy statement explaining why they opted not to show Alabama-Auburn, a game between two unbeaten teams with no losses to their name, in front of a national television audience. As Mark Mandel, a spokesman for ABC, said on this whole ordeal, outside of the Southeast, the rivalry between Michigan and Ohio State is maybe a little bit better known. We realize this is a very debatable question. Which game would have been the better national game? We certainly understand the other side of the debate. It was just a judgment call. Seems like a weird statement to make, especially because there seemed to be nothing stopping you from showing both games nationally. And if you said it was a judgment call to figure out what the better game was, and your judgment led you to pick a relatively meaningless game over a battle between two unbeaten teams playing for the national title, that seems like you have really bad judgment. Mandel then continued, saying, I guess everyone loves to think that everyone across the rest of the country loves their teams. But in college football, that's very rare. Interesting statement to attack the fans and to tell the fans, your teams are not that important, even though they're two of the best teams in the country playing for something. Yes, Michigan and Ohio State might be bigger than Alabama and Auburn, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the game is bigger. That's two completely different things, and you're missing the point entirely. In the NFL, let's say you have a game between the Broncos and the Raiders in the final week of the season. That is a game where the winner goes to the playoffs, and the loser goes home. And NBC decides to air Cowboys-Eagles for Sunday Night Football, even though the Cowboys and Eagles are both 5-11 and and have nothing to play for. Yes, the Cowboys and the Eagles are bigger teams, but the Broncos-Raiders game means more. For Mandel and for ABC to not recognize this was a massive oversight on their part, and seeing as the Iron Bowl turned out to be a great one-possession game that came down to the wire, with Alabama winning at 21-14, while the Michigan-Ohio State game turned out to be a 22-6 contest, where seeing as overtime didn't exist back then, Michigan was down three possessions if they wanted to win, the ABC viewers and the college football audience definitely paid the price for this one. Today, it's impossible to imagine the Iron Bowl being a regionally televised game. It's one of the biggest and best rivalries in college football, and it's always one of the biggest games of the year, not just in the SEC, but in the country. And yet, in 1994, when the stakes were at their highest, and when it looked like the most important and talked about regular season game of the entire year, it wasn't even shown to a national audience. ABC said they made a judgment call not showing the game, but after how everything played out, just about everyone was questioning ABC's poor judgment. Get your official Jaguar Gator 9 merchandise by going to jg9shop.com and be sure to like this video, ring the notification bell, and subscribe down below if you haven't already, as it helps the channel out a lot. And be sure to check out Twitch every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern for your chance to play NFL trivia and win cash prizes. Link in the description below. Also, special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters for helping out the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. So you can become a patron and request future video topics in the description below.